So here we are, back at the Ladoin. A week later, and what a difference. Gone from 13 degrees last week, nice and warm to zero degrees this morning, and uh, slight grain frost, but nothing too significant. Now, I alluded on my last video that I've struggled on marsh. Marsh, uh, at the uh, four pools here, marsh is probably my least favourite, if you like. But last time I was here, I lost one and five other blokes on your court. So I'm going to say, give myself a challenge. I'm going to come on here today and see if it's psychological or if it's just a case that, uh, you know, marsh is harder to fish than the other pools. So I'm going to give it, uh, got my food booked at 12 o'clock. So I'm going to give it a good four hours move around, I've got various tactics, I've got a green squirmy this time on the bung um, with a blob further up, I've got cormorants uh, and I've got the green and black lure so I'm going to start off with uh, the black and green lure um, mainly because how cold it is, my hands are going to be frozen probably 10 15 minutes, so then I'll go on to the bung to give them a rest, I think. So I'll start over this side, there's not much movement on the water, so uh, let's give it a try and see how we get on. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with the intermediate line and uh, I'm going to say the black and green lure, so. Throw the margins first of all and fan it round and see if we get any takes. A beautiful morning now, still pool, moon's still out, sun's just coming up. This is a lovely setting here to be fair. Nice to be out. Be even nicer if you can catch some fish. <laughs> right then, so I'm gonna have a go on the bung. Now, as I said earlier, I've got green squirmy on and peach colour blob. I'll shallow this down a bit. Let's see uh, to be fair there's there's not much moving on the water, that's in the so might be a case of fishing a bit slower or static might be the trick. So see if everyone enjoying this. There's still not much movement on here yet, but at least my hands are getting a bit warmer now. If anybody has the same problem, uh, all die like having cold hands, I can recommend getting one of these, I think them Zippo, Zippo hand warmers. There might be ones available, but these are really good to the trick. And uh, that, coupled with a nice brew, helps get the warmth back in you. <sighs> Alright then, no drew with that, so I'm going to have a quick change up. I'm going to fish my white squirmy that I had the success on last time and the white uh, a white blob underneath and uh, this one's also a bit shallow because it's quite shallow around here as well by the look of it. So let's see how we get on with that. Lovely uh, 
the uh, bow there. And there you see. And the white square, mate. Well, goes to show. Just swap the uh, swap the setup. Fishing in the same spot. Uh, obviously, wasn't feeling the the green square me. Put the white one on, which I had a lot of joy with last week. And straight away, second cast, something's into it. A nice little rainbow. You think you, you think you've cracked it? Swap a fly and get an immediate reaction, and you think, oh, this is it. This is what the this is what they're after. And I had about six or seven more casts in finding it across this this peg all all the way around, and uh, not a touch. <laughs> oh, and you know, a couple of minutes, and then uh, I think we will get the uh, Coleman to go, and then. Have a move round. All right, well, got the washing line set up with the cormorants. Now, I had got a fab on there just to hold them up in the water, but I caught that fish pretty six foot down, so that would suggest that they're quite deep. There's still not a lot of movement on the surface, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap the fab um, for a buzzer instead, just to sort of fish them a bit deeper. Um, and I think uh, I'll just fish them slowly. Let's see how we get on. <clears throat> well, I'll give it about an hour and a half in this spot. Um, no draw in the cormorant, so I think I might just go on that opposite bank there where the reeds are and uh, see if we get any joy over there. Right then, relocated onto the uh, just around the corner from where we were. Uh, sun's coming up nicely now, probably too nicely. But, um, I've never fished this peg before, so uh, let's see how we uh, get on. We'll start on the bung and, and then get a lure at her, I think, in a bit. Oh dear, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? <laughs> oh, come on, Rich. Hope he's still there. Oh, that was glaring. Oh, no touch there. And again, come on, take it, go on, go on. Oh, it's teasing me, it's teasing me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I waited and waited for that to go then. I didn't, uh, I was patient, they snatched it and still bloody missed it. How are you doing, Rich? Hello, you okay? Yes. Yeah, I've just missed a bike because of you, but yeah, I have, yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on here. I've, uh, I've had <laughs> three great bites um, on the bunk since I started and uh, hit thin air. So, I'd say it's uh, at least having the, having the opportunities. 
other than just uh, taking a leg of the squirmy or something like that, or what I don't know. Um, but just gotta keep plugging and hopefully one of them will stick. Alright, so I took the cormorants off the other floating line. Um, uh, when I said I took them off, I got in a big massive tangle and uh, ended up having to snap it off. But obviously I've been getting a bit more joy off the uh, off the bung. Uh, I've had another go to learn how good they are. So what I've done is I've put another bung on here um, with, uh, with an orange squirm as opposed to the white. And, uh, and a blob a few foot down. Oh well. Oh. Fortunately, missed me chances in this uh, in this peg. I think I'll have one more cast, uh, and then we'll uh, move around again. All right, then. let's move around. Uh, let's move at the corner a bit now. It's nice uh, again. Nice little swim. Um, Compared to where we've been fishing, there's not as much water to cover, if you like. So, I'll, uh, I'll go in there with till dinner, so I'll probably give it a half hour here and then try further in that corner if we dug it now, Joy. Just along them reeds. Not very big, but it's a fish. <laughs> and guess what he's stuck? That's right, the white squirmy. <laughs> I'll say they're very big, he's throwing up a good little scrap. on that lovely fish. Well, didn't take long again, second cast in this uh, swim. And fish number two. So I decided to shame on me stalling bites uh, in the previous bait because could have been up to three by now but uh, had, had me chances. <laughs> breakfast uh, come to the windier part of the pool it's really picked up uh, as the morning's gone on see more than how it's been forecast to be fair so in the rear so uh, a bit of a, a bung graveyard this is I think look at some of these trees I'm gonna have to be careful with the casting because see a few bits of our bank line on the far bank but, uh, That's dinner out of the way. Decided to come back on Marsh and see the day out on here. It's, uh, I'm actually fishing into the wind here, but because of the cover by the trees, it's actually, uh, it's actually quite, uh, quite still. So, uh, 
give it a try here. Yeah? Whilst having breakfast, uh, turns out one chap who's fishing opposite over there has had 16 fish out, mainly on the on the blob on the bung. But I think he's been moving around with one rod, and I think he's had them out of mouse pools, I think. And then I overheard that chap who we saw catch him when just before dinner, who had two out. He said uh, he's had nine in total. We did a couple was on the bung. Um, we had the others on a humongous. I think he was fishing it underneath that underneath that willow tree there in the corner. So um, I'm happy with my two. One would have been better. Especially, um, especially a few bites that I missed uh, in that second peg. But still got a few hours left yet, so didn't get any more. again on the old white square me <laughs> lovely looking fish again lovely markings oh well got me quads in got me three fish a nice little rainbow all on the same uh, on the same flight I think I'll uh, I'll have one more go on this and then uh, I think I'll you know, get some buzzers on. I'll get some buzzers and try. Try the cormorant. There's one. Yeah, a bit of action. And have a go with the buzzers. But, uh... Alright then, well. Mood around this tree, by this tree. There's been a fair bit of movement since I got here actually. There's them, uh, them definitely here, but as you can see from a, I can see two bungs on the edge of the tree there. Obviously you're gonna have to be really careful with the casting, but I think it might be a case of the closer into that tree you get, the um, more chance you've got of getting some action. Right, so going back onto the buzzers. Missed a good uh, well had one on had one on, on the bung but uh come off. Usual thing. Oh. Usual thing <laughs> There's a splash underneath the tree. I looked over, looked back, and flout had gone. <laughs> I had it on for a couple of seconds and it come off. But I'm definitely down in this corner. I say there's, I've seen more movement in this corner than I have anywhere else on the pool all day. Oh well, it's uh, it's been a decent day, which is in the uh, coldest bin. Pretty bit too sunny, but uh, <coughs> obviously I'm never happy. I um, had three today and lost one, so last time it was five and lost one, so still got me quota and uh, got me three fish and uh, enjoyed my day.